wake me when you need me. Halo has a magical feel to it that is unlike any other game. To what degree do we need to rework great work that's already been done? What do we keep? What do we throw away? What do we add? Equally, we want this to be our Halo game and the first Halo game that 343 has developed. We've really focused on trying to craft these moments that live up to the legacy of the Halo experience. We're working within the constraints of what makes Halo Halo, but trying to make every aspect of it um, bigger and better. With Halo 4, we're really delving into Master Chief's humanity and exploring what makes him tick as a character. Most of the exploration that we've done of the Master Chief has been done through other media outside of the games. It's been done through comic books, through novels. We wanted to put it squarely in the video game this time. Fighting for something that is really important, where there's something very big at stake, those are themes we carry forward. One of the things that we wanted to do was really introduce a threat that is beyond anything that Master Chief has faced before. It also gives us an opportunity with that threat to add new gameplay. The backstory of the Spartans and of the Master Chief in particular promises all this hyper-athletic speed and mass and weight and power. You're supposed to be this guy in this super suit and you should feel like a superhero in it and in order to do that we want the armor to look and feel functional. We've done everything from really looking at what should the HUD look like? It's kind of like a flight jet HUD, and we think of it that way. As a player, you're really empowered and given a, a set of tools to employ in any way that you want. The fans will be really happy to hear that in Halo 4, the battle rifle's back. It's the old burst fire precision weapon that they know and love. All weapons, vehicles, and enemies have all been updated graphically. A lot of that is just in service of the experience we're trying to create. We want you to feel like you could step right into that world. We're trying to bring that across in multiplayer, that there's this whole universe out there, and you get to play in all these cool locations. We're absolutely creating multiplayer levels from scratch. So these are not play spaces that are recycled from the campaign. They're purpose-built with competitive in mind. The two maps that we're going to be showing are uh, Warhouse and Wraparound. Wraparound is a looping arena type structure. Lots of verticality, up and down combat. Warhouse is like an abandoned military base, which has got a giant mech being constructed in the center of it. We've always had this sort of schism between multiplayer and campaign. And the campaign was completely wrapped in fiction, and multiplayer just wasn't. The Spartans in multiplayer are Spartan 4s. These are the newest breed of Spartan. We've created a fairly compelling and fairly convincing reason why Red Spartans can fight Blue Spartans. There's other parts to our multiplayer experience that will be coming in the future. With Halo 4, we've tried to create a more cinematic approach to the experience in everything that we do. We have a completely new audio team building all of the sound effects from scratch. We've redone almost everything. We've already recorded a hundred tracks of music. Artistically, the number of assets that are going into this is way more than any other Halo game. We wanted to do so much more. You have this massive team of people who have all come together at this one point in time that focuses on every day that we have left, doing everything we can to make this game the best that it can possibly be. It's still Halo, but it has its own voice, and it's extraordinary.